Hey sketchy friends, thanks for joining me in this video. My name is Taria and this is Taria's Sketchy Adventures. So in today's video I want to try to help answer that all-important question, what is the best sketchbook for urban sketching? Now of course we all know the answer to this is there is no best. It's all down to personal preference and what you prefer using in terms of media, what you prefer drawing, what kind of paper you like. There's just no correct answer, but let me guide you through some of the sketchbooks I've tried, some of them extensively over several years, and hopefully it will give you an idea of what sketchbook you might like to try next. I don't really tend to stick to one kind of sketchbook. I do sort of uh, jump around a lot and that's just because I probably get shiny object syndrome where I see a beautiful sketchbook in a shop or online and it's like oh I want to try that one. So I've got quite a queue of sketchbooks to get through at the moment um, but let me talk you through some of my favorites. So in terms of just drawing the Royal Talons art creation sketchbook is actually becoming one of my favorites. I bought this last year at the Urban Sketches Symposium in Auckland. It was a really good price I'll put on the screen the weight of the paper because it escapes my, my memory right now. As I've put on the cover, I'm just using this one for sketching people at the moment. I'm trying to do a lot of life drawing with um, Draw Brighton, their Patreon page. Do check them out if you want to do practice some life drawing, which is online uh, on Zoom each week. But I have also taken this out to draw, for example, this was at the elections that we had here in South Africa back in May. And um, yeah, it's just my people book. I'm trying to force myself to do more people in whatever uh, shape that takes. So, you know, this is definitely more of a drawing book. Uh, the paper's not super thin, so it can take a little bit of abuse. For example, I did pre-prepare some pages with watercolor um, and then drew on top of them at a later date. So it can handle that just about, but I wouldn't, kind of go out of my way to really use the, use a wet media on this paper. This is very much more of a drawing kind of situation. So that's my favorite at the moment, just for drawing and dry media. Really nice sketchbook. They come in all different colors, really thick. Um, so lots of pages. It's just a really, really nice book. So for more of like a mixed media kind of book, I do like the Stillman and Burns. They are advertised as mixed media books. However, they do take watercolor really nicely as well. And this is the Beta. Uh, it's got very thick feeling pages, 270 GSM. But look how the watercolor sings on these pages. And this is when I first got uh, White Knight's watercolors, which I do find very nice and bright. In conjunction with this paper, it just they just seem to be a beautiful match with each other. Don't be fooled, they are advertised as mixed media books, but they are really great at watercolor as well. What I will say is because the pages are so thick on this book that I did feel quite precious about them to start with, but then once I got over that feeling, it was fine. And uh, you can see the page, I'm not used to sketching this big, so I was like dividing the pages up to do these like smaller sketches and stuff. But what was cool is I took this book on our uh, honeymoon a few years ago around South Africa. So if you've got my ebook, Sketchy Adventures in South Africa, you would have seen all of these sketches. So yeah, it's just a beautiful book for drawing, for watercolor and for mixed media as well. Even though this is advertised as cold press, the beta, it's very, it's still very smooth um, paper. So don't be worried about that either. If you like a smoother paper, but you really want that heavy weight that takes watercolor nicely, then this is a fantastic book. Um, at this size, it's, it's more expensive. I'd say maybe, I'll put it on the screen, but like maybe 25 US dollars. It's definitely cheaper to buy Stillman and Burn in the States, I think, but you can get these books from um, Jackson's Art. Unfortunately, we can't get them here in South Africa. This is the Stillman and Burn Alpha. This has thinner pages, I think 190. This is advertised as medium grain, but to be honest with you, it feels smooth as well, like maybe just the tiniest bit of texture. Um, but what I like about this book is I just feel freer to like experiment and just be a bit looser and stuff. I just have less fear of, I think because it's thinner pages, there's more pages, so I have less fear of like using them up than I do the, the beta or the thicker one. So um, I really love this sketchbook. And uh, yes, the, the pages do wrinkle, 
um, but I really don't I don't mind that it's not something I'm too concerned about so this is they come in all different um, sort of sizes this is the square one so this one's definitely one of my favorites for line and wash really like this this book I have got another one on the shelf that I will be using at some stage another one that I really like for line and wash and mixed media is this Hanemula Nostalgie this has very smooth paper I think also 190 GSM great for drawing uh, colored pencils watercolor pencils because it's just silky smooth there's no texture on there at all so I find it a little more tricky to use with watercolor, like heavier watercolor techniques. I don't feel the watercolor reacts as I might be used to, but again, it's a book that's a good price. So I feel kind of more free to experiment um, and even doing like collage and that kind of thing. So this is a really uh, great book. I highly recommend it. It's the Hanemüller Nostalgie, and it's a good price as far as I'm aware. Now, if you're in the market for an accordion book, I haven't tried too many of them, but I really like this Etcher one. I took it to New Zealand with me last year. I think it's 50% cotton paper. I'll, I'll correct myself on the screen or put the information on the screen, but it was a really nice book. It definitely has a little bit of texture, but like not too overwhelming. Um, so you can draw quite nicely on it still as well and use watercolor and it's just a great book and this is such a great format for a trip like this where I was just moving from place to place each day. Just a fantastic uh, accordion sketchbook. Hani Mueller do make one called the Zigzag book I think but I have not tried it so I can't comment on that one. Just a special shout out to my friend Bernard who made handmade me this one for my trip to Spain. And it's a, a beautiful book. This was actually his 100th book. So it's like a very special one as well. So if you're in South Africa, check out Bernard's books because he can make you whatever sketchbook you would like. If you're in the market for a sketchbook with 100% cotton paper, then I can recommend trying out these Etcher books. These are both the hot press versions. They do a cold press version. I'm not a massive fan of the cold press. I find it too textured for me, but the smoother paper is quite nice. I think it's 300 GSM. I'll put the info on the screen. Nice to draw on, nice to use watercolor on, thick pages. The only thing I'm not a massive fan of is the white covers because they do get uh, really dirty. I think the idea is that you can paint or put some art on there if you want to and cover the design, uh, the, the cover. But um, yeah, so I haven't tried Hannah Mueller's 100% cotton sketchbooks. If you have and you've got uh, an opinion on those, do let us know in the comments below. But I think finally, my overall pick of a sketchbook I would definitely go back to time and again is the Hannah Mueller watercolor travel sketchbook. I really, really love these sketchbooks. I had two A5 versions back in 2020 and 2021. They're just uh, fun to use. They have a slight texture, but they're nice to draw on still. They take watercolor very nicely. Oh, this is such an old sketchbook. <laughs> and especially this A5 size, I find very nice to travel with. And I don't feel too precious about the pages, but they also don't wrinkle too much. Maybe like the Alpha, they, they handle the watercolor quite well. Yeah, just fantastic fantastic books and I had to get one an emergency sketchbook in Barcelona um, because my suitcase was lost in Dubai <laughs> during those big storms and it had my teaching sketchbook in it so I had to buy an emergency one and they had an A4 version of the Hanemüller travel sketchbook and again it's just really nice to use it's a good price uh, and I actually really am enjoying sketching at this bigger size as well. Not so great if you want to whip it out on the aeroplane and do a few little sketches, but if you're sitting in front of a scene or a building or or something like that for a long time, then um, I'm really loving this huge amount of space that you can mess around in. So that would be my overall pick. If you have not tried one of these Hanemüller watercolor travel sketchbooks, I highly recommend trying one of those next. And I would love to know what your favorite sketchbooks are for urban sketching in the comments below. Please do let us know. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.